How to create a global header for your WordPress Elementor website. I'm going to show you this today. So here you see there is nothing really. We haven't done anything for our header. This is just a sample website that uh, we have built and uh, we have installed Hello Elementor's uh, own theme. In order to do that, you need uh, an Elementor Pro subscription and you need to go to Theme Builder. This is where you're going to go and uh, you want to go to Header. We have no headers as you see. So just click Add New because if you don't have like a customized, you know, and with nice graphics header, uh, Elementor is just going to show a very simple version of your menu as you saw like a very white plain thing so here you can either select one of those pre-made uh, headers or you can make your own i'm going to show you briefly both alternatives so let's say you want to take i don't know let's take this one what is it yeah just random and we're going to insert it and uh, you see it is ready here uh, here's your logo you either can upload your own logo here use the site logo option of elementor or you can just up use like an image you know it doesn't really matter it's just convenient because it's your same logo but yeah have we set our logo well if we haven't set it we are going to just follow the instructions to edit the logo of your site go to site identity we don't have a site logo so let's choose one um and this is the logo there it is and the fav icon also it's good to have that 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 as long as it is square i would take the same uh it's a bit big and it's not really square but okay this one this one it's smaller we take this one and update and once you have updated you will see that your logo is right here so now we have this ready-made template that is just, you know, the home, about, branding, I mean, it's just our pages that we have built and publish. Now, this is very important. What you want to do here is you want to add condition. And if you want to have one header, which is mostly the case, you just include this template on the entire website and save and close. Let's see what happens now. Let's see what happens if we refresh. If we refresh it, now we have here the new logo. Sorry, the new header, <laughs> you see, it's here. Now, so this is, we use the ready-made template for this one, but I'm gonna show you, I mean, if you don't want to use the ready-made, just go ahead and delete this one, create a new section and you can create, I don't know, take one with three sections or like two sections. I usually go with two and I will explain why, because, okay, here it is. I'm gonna give a height, minimum height, not, let's give it 200 pixels. Uh, I'm gonna make a very basic, right? So you can customize however you want and you can either drag this site logo here width oh, this is too big uh, of course you can adjust it i'm gonna just put a black color here in the back uh let's take this or this blue but let's make it black okay black and no this is too big here we go select the logo and we can style it let's give it a 30 percent and max with 30 percent width right and i mean this one doesn't have to be like that uh i mean this part, this section we can make it i don't know 30 percent or even small i mean it's up to you you can make it uh however big or small you want it and here on this section i usually take the menu navigation menu and here we have okay it doesn't look good but you can style style it um typography primary i mean we have a few here we take this one the menu you see and you can create the text color hover uh, maybe that is too dark we can make it i don't know pink right and uh on active you can also let it stay pink and uh i mean you can do customizations like that 
now I don't want this to be a line uh, on the left I want it to be a line like this a line right there or center or you know left or what is it stretch it's up to you so pointer underline we don't want any pointer so it is like this so I am going to update it when it's not much different than what it was before but you know to get an idea and what is it is it here yes if I am refreshing the website see it's changed to that and I mean it's up to you to design it however you want and this is going to be the header on all the pages so yes that's how you create a header with Elementor Pro uh, for your website and of course if let's say you happen to have based on your design a different header for the home page and different uh, header for the rest of the pages then when you select when you select the display conditions you make this header and you might select okay singular or you know front page like i want this to be only on the front page and you save and close and then when you make the other header and style it however you want similarly you will go and you will select display conditions you can do it actually you can do like let's say if you take it from scratch entire site but you can exclude it from singular from the front page so then you have one header that it is shown only on the front page and then you have another one that it is on the entire site a different design but not it is excluded on the front page and that's how you create headers with Elementor Pro I hope you enjoyed this tutorial let me know in the comments if you have any questions thank you for watching and see you next time take care bye